left-handers bring a different element to water polo, and from 2002 to 2012, no American southpaw was as accomplished as Peter Varalis. Growing up in Northern California, Varalis started at Camp Lindo High School before joining a start-started Stanford University team across the bay. He helped the Cardinal reach four straight NCAA title bouts, including a victory in 2002. A two-time All-America, he amassed 168 goals, was named the Pac-10 Male Athlete of the Year, Stanford Most Outstanding Male Senior, and earned an NCAA Postgrad Scholarship. At the same time, his national team career was on the rise. He quickly became a key piece of the squad, helping the U.S. win gold at the 2007 Pan American Games. That was followed by a five-goal, seven-assist effort during Team USA's breakthrough silver medal performance at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Varalis added another Pan Am title in 2011, then capped up for his second Olympics in London in 2012 before retiring to attend the Stanford Graduate School of Business. Professionally, Varalis competed in Savona, Italy, and at home with the Olympic Club. He remains closely involved today as an athlete representative on the USA Water Polo Board of Directors. He's the one that worked all of his life to get to where he's at. Don't get me wrong, Peter is very talented, but he worked hard to develop uh, his game, put in that extra time uh, developing his skills. And you don't do that by, by doing what's required. Um, you, you have to do more, and Peter always did more. And I really believe that Stanford was the, the perfect fit for Peter. He was an academic All-American every year at Stanford. He's an NCAA champion. He was an ideal model. He, he, just, a, just a Stanford guy. What you don't realize is he came on first at Stanford as this young kid. This team won, you know, multiple times in a row, and he had to take on this starting role right away and he embraced it perfectly, right? He knew when to pass, he knew when to shoot. Then fast forward, 2008, when we won the silver medal, he was exactly what we needed to put that ball away against Serbia in the semifinals. And I still think to this day, he has the quickest shot from a left-hander, maybe in the history of the game. Peter is someone that I've looked up to tremendously, someone that I've uh, watched since I was in high school and seen his career across Stanford internationally on the Olympic team and for Olympic club as well. And when we were opponents, obviously needed to know where he was at all times. Uh, incredibly crafty player, incredibly fast player. Uh, and then when I had the privilege of playing with him, he brings a very um, professional mentality to every single game and, and approaches every single game very professionally, which I think is great for the youth to see and I think is really important as we try to grow the sport in the U.S. Peter absolutely would go the extra mile, whether it be for me or anybody else, and, and, and you just don't find that. Um, I watched, we all watched, the work that he put in and the commitment, whether it was him staying by himself for two hours after practice for shooting or, look, he, he had a lot of lingering issues back and leg and this and that and, and and you know the easy thing would be due to not address those but he always did and that's why he is where he is and that's why he's going into the hall of fame and we wouldn't have been able to do what we did in beijing specifically um, without peter varelis i realized peter was going to be an impact player the first day he showed up for national team practice uh, one of the smartest players that i've ever played with could analyze the game and break it down like no other person. Um, it was an extreme pleasure playing with him because he made sure that we had the tactics down and studied the other team to make sure we had the proper game plan to beat them. And as a person, he's just the type of person that makes you smile when you're around him. And he's that X factor on a team that you want because he makes you better in and out of the water. Peter was the first American to ever win the Euro League. And he was an instrumental part of that team in Savona, Italy. And one of the things that I really appreciate with Peter is he really embraced the culture. Peter became fluent in Italian within a year. I remember I'd been there for a couple years before and I come and I go, man, this guy speaks so much better Italian than I do. Like, how does he know Italian so well? But as a professional, anyone he played with would tell you the same thing. Like, he was extremely intelligent. He knows everything about everything. In fact, on the national team, we used to call him for anything. If we forgot the schedule, hey, Peter, what are we supposed to wear today? Or what's the schedule tomorrow? Hey, Peter, find some good restaurants out wherever we're gonna be, you know? So whenever any of us had a question, we knew who to ask. 
Everything that Peter does, he's very serious about, but he's quirky. He walk out to practice with his goggles and his sandals, and, and he put his sandals in a certain spot. And when he turned around and, and go dive in the pool, I would move his sandals, move his goggles. And then sometime during the practice, he'd get back out of the water, put his sandals in a certain place, put the goggles there. And uh, he'd laugh, and it'd be really funny, and it has to be right. But you want somebody uh, with his intelligence, his thoughtfulness, um, his organization to help with, with uh, making just great decisions for water polo. He's really the full package when it comes to uh, what we want, I think, USA water polo athletes to look like. Uh, incredibly intelligent, incredibly professional, played professionally overseas, brought a medal to the country. He's incredibly dedicated to USA water polo as a whole. Um, and I think that he really represents everything that you would want to see from USA water polo athletes. A lot of people always think he's just the serious guy, um, but he definitely has a great sense of humor. Uh, one of my best friends on the team. And if you don't know him, probably one of the quieter guys uh, on the team. But, uh, you know, once you get to know him, he definitely has some great things to say. I'll never forget uh, all of our moments, whether it be at a breakfast table and us filling up, you know, bread rolls with salt for Merrill to bite into or nights you know in the room just catching up on life or talking to each other about you know our stresses of being on, trying to be one of 13 um, but the reality is is you did it and couldn't happen for a better person um, and, it, and it really shows that hard work pays off so love you Peter so happy for you much deserved um, and, and again my hope is is all the kids out there playing uh, understand that you can be a Peter Varalis.